All right, today I want to talk about filing my taxes and implications of selling my mobile home park for a loss. So for those of you who've been following my journey, you know I bought a, um, a 200 lot mobile home park in Selma, Alabama. I bought the seller financed back in November of 2021 and I finally sold it in November of 2023 and you know I went in another video but high level in bad property management it was a bad area too much crime um, you know too much expense so between bad property management and bad um, location you know obviously I lost money in this deal right so when I sold it I just did my taxes on TurboTax for um, 2023 just filed it in you know uh, early April end of March um, so this was the first time that I actually sold uh, asset because I'm always buy and hold right like if you watch my channel my consistent theme has always been I'm a buy and hold investor I don't like to sell assets because it's a lot of work to buy these assets and that's how you build true wealth you build true wealth when you hold on to assets and let it compound Right, so I'll do another video talking about how my net worth compounded um, over time. Um, but by holding real estate, that is when your wealth compounds. If you hold index funds, if you hold stocks, that's how your wealth truly compounds. Right. So for me, I've always been buy and hold, and there's a way to pull equity out of your deals. You could do a cash out refinance. You can get a HELOC on it in second position, and that's what I've done, right? I have built up a lot of equity in my single family homes. I did a cash out refinance, and I used that money to buy my two apartment complexes and my mobile home park, right? So high level, I don't like to sell, but this deal was such a bad deal, uh, bad property management, and I realized that mobile home parks wasn't for me, at least, you know, D-class mobile home parks were not for me. Um, so had a lot of lessons from that. Um, but in any case, I lost about $100,000. So the only person who made money on the deal was the person that sold me the deal, right? <laughs> they, they made $100,000 and I lost $100,000, right? So, you know, um, lesson learned. Anyways, I filed my taxes on TurboTax. So when you do on TurboTax, uh, what you do is um, for each property, they're going to ask you a question. Did you offload this asset in 2023? So I, I click yes. And then at that point, um, it's going to ask for like a lot of information, right? So it's going to ask, okay, when did you sell it? Uh, what was the sales price? Um, what were your expenses, right? So you, you have to break it all down. So um, when you sell an asset, this is what happens. So um this is going to go into the weeds right and i apologize but you know me i go into the weeds so what happened is when you have this asset and i was renovating a lot of the the mobile homes right so in 2021 i was renovating homes in 2022 i was renovating homes 2023 i kind of stopped renovating homes so when you renovate mobile homes what happens is you write off that renovation expense as depreciation over about five years right Double check me, but I think it's about five years. So let's just say you spent a hundred thousand dollars, right, to renovate. Um, in twenty twenty one, you spent a hundred thousand dollars to renovate uh, mobile homes in twenty twenty two. So what you do is for the twenty twenty one, for example, um, I have a hundred thousand. I depreciate that over five years. So I can write off twenty thousand each year, right? So I can lower your um, income or your passive income by twenty thousand with depreciation, right? So. When you file your uh, mobile home park, you'll have your income, you'll have your expense, and you'll have de your depreciation. And at the end of the year, you'll have a total, right? And because as a value add, my totals were always negative, right? It was always like negative. I'll just make it simple, 100000 right? So 2021, I was negative 100000 In 2022, same thing, I was negative 100000 But the negative 100000 from the last year carries forward. So if I'm negative 100000 in 2021 and negative 100000 in 2022, it carries to negative 200,000 in 2023, right? So um, so that's how it goes, right? So the negative carries forward each year. So if you sold it in 2023, the negative from 2021, the negative from 2022 falls forward into 2023. And let's just say in 2023, which I was negative, right? Income minus expense minus depreciation was negative again, right? So let's just say for simplicity, I was negative a hundred thousand dollars or half a million dollars, right? And remember, this is including the income, 
minus the expense, minus depreciation, carry forward from when I owned the asset in 2021, 2022, and now 2023, right? So when you sell the asset, what happens is you put the sales price, right? So let's just say I sold it for 1.5 million, right? And <clears throat> after um, the expenses, so, you know, obviously I don't pocket 1.5 million because, you know, there's a, there's a loan on it. So they take over the loan. Um, so that's minus a million for the loan. So it's half a million. And then you minus your expenses of, you know, all the escrow costs. So let's just make it simple. Let's make it 50,000 to, to do all the escrow costs. So you have, um, let's, let's make it for simplicity, a hundred thousand. Yeah. A hundred thousand or in expenses. So in reality, I'm netting on paper 400,000, right? But remember all my negatives that carry forward was half negative half a million. So in reality, I lost about hundred thousand dollars on this deal, right? Collectively. So when you sell it, it looks like you're positive uh, 400,000, but once you factor in all the negatives that carry forward in 2021, 2022, and 2023, I'm negative half a million. So overall, when I sold this, I sold this at a loss for 100,000, right? So um, before I kind of, and then what happens after that is, so I'm negative 100,000, right? And once you sell an asset, it now moves from passive income to active income. So now that can offset my W-2 income, right? So let's just say for simplicity, I made $200,000 in my W-2 job, but I sold my mobile home park and I'm negative $100,000. So what happens there? I have $200,000 of W-2, which I paid my taxes on, and let's just make my tax bracket uh, 40% for simplicity, right? And I think it is kind of close to there. Um, so for... Um, for two hundred thousand dollars income, I'm paying eight thousand dollars in um, taxes, right, between California and the federal. But because I sold my mobile home park for a hundred thousand dollar loss, it offsets my W two income. So I went from paying two hundred thousand dollars worth of W two tax, but because I'm negative hundred thousand for my mobile home park, which is now active income because I sold it, my taxable income is a hundred thousand. So basically, I overpaid California federal tax by. Forty thousand dollars, assuming a federal or a tax rate forty percent. So, what does that mean? That means that when I file my taxes, I got a forty thousand dollar return, right? So, effectively, I lost a hundred thousand dollars on my mobile home park, but it offset my W two income by a hundred thousand dollars, which saves me or gets me refunded forty thousand dollars back in taxes. So, in reality, if you factor that in, I lost about sixty thousand um, dollars on my mobile home park and I'm carrying a note on it still in second position and I'm getting interest only payments of roughly 25,000 a year for three years. So all in all, I'd say it's a, it's a wash. It's a break even, right? So I'm negative hundred thousand dollars. I got $40,000 in tax uh, refund. So I'm negative 60,000 and over three years, I'm going to make about 75,000 in interest payments. So I, I'd call it a wash and I learned a lot of lessons, right? Um, so, this is the first time I've sold an asset and that, that's how it affects my W-2. So it actually made me appreciative of having my W-2, right? <laughs> um, so hopefully that makes sense. I know I went to the weeds and I kind of want to backtrack a little bit to when you sell, when I sold the mobile home park, um, what happens is you, you sell the asset, but also all the depreciation. So what happens is um, when you sell an asset, all the depreciation um, that you deferred now is due. Right. So, for example, my um, renovation. Right. When, when when you sell a sell an asset, the depreciation now becomes uh, you have to pay taxes on it. Right. So maybe the depreciation is adding, 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 but you're negative over here. So overall, you should net negative. Right. So it's just a little bit confusing doing a turbo tax, but like all the depreciation is called depreciation recapture. That's the term. Sorry, I was like blinking out, but like it's called depreciation recapture. So whatever you wrote off. Um, from the prior years, it's now going to become considered active income. So if you wrote off 50000 from depreciation, and even though that, it, that depreciation was negative to carry forward, that depreciation that you wrote off 50000 gets active income. Now get, it's considered $50,000 of active income because it's depreciation recapture, but because you have all the negative losses carrying forward, it offsets that uh, depreciation recapture, right? So... 
you know, that's how it kind of, how it kind of works. I, it was a little confusing for me at first, but you know, once again, I want to reiterate, breach and recapture. Let's say I wrote off fifty thousand um, or a hundred thousand uh, of uh, worth of mobile home park renovations. When I sell it, the appreciation hundred thousand is recaptured, so it's now added to my active income. But all the negatives carry forward is also factoring as well. So if you have a positive and negative, they still do the math. So it sounds complicated, but just know that if you made money on the deal. You're going to pay taxes on it net. If you lost money in the deal, it's going to offset your W-2 income, right? So if I had I made $100,000 on this deal, it would have increased my, it would have been my W-2 of 200000 plus 100000 So now my taxable income is 300000 So now I have to pay um, taxes on my gain. But because I lost, it offset my W-2 income and I got refunded money, right? So that was very opening for me and... You know, I was wondering how it worked and it took me a lot tweaking it so many times on TurboTax to get it right because, you know, I messed up and, you know, mispunched some numbers and it may seem like I had negative, like half a million dollars in losses. And I was like, oh, wow. And what I also learned too, is let, let's just say I was negative. Let's say I did lose half a million dollars on my mobile home park deal. And what happens is I made $200,000 my W-2. So effectively, that negative half a million wipes out my 200000 income. So I pay zero taxes that year, a W-2 taxes, right? So I'll get all my refunds. So let's say I made $200,000. I paid $80,000 in taxes. I lost half a million for my mobile home park. I effectively will get a refund of $80,000 of all taxes I paid because I have zero income, right? And what's nice too is that neg- whatever is left over, so I have negative $300,000 left over, that will carry forward to the next year. So if I were to make $300,000 at my W-2 job and I still have that negative $300,000 I carry forward, now my active income is zero. Once again, I pay zero taxes that year, right? So that negative loss carries forward as well. So it was very eye-opening for me because you can kind of take risk when doing business um, while you work at W-2 because you have cushion, right? Worst case, if I fail like I did in my mobile home park, I lost $100,000, it offset $100,000 of my taxable income. So I got a nice tax refund, right? And and had the loss been even bigger, that lo- that loss would carry forward, right? I mean, obviously we don't want to lose money, right? <laughs> but if you do lose, I have cushion, right? I did lose hundred thousand, but I got back forty thousand in taxes because of the cushion of my W two. So that's why, like I say, like I appreciate my W two job more. The more real estate I've owned, and the more um, I've been involved in business. Right, like I, even like for example, my Amazon drop shipping business, I, I lost money in that one. It, it offset my W two income. You know, for the pharmacy that I'm selling, I, I'm losing money. It offsets my W two income, so I'm getting a little bit of tax refunds. Right, so that that's what's nice. I like, don't quit your W two job yet. Continue working. It's so valuable to have a W two job, especially when you're doing businesses. Right, so hopefully this makes sense. <clears throat> I know it's confusing overall. Um, but just know if you're net positive, you're going to pay taxes on it. If you're net negative, um, you're going to, um, maybe get some tax refunds, right? And it, it should make sense. So, so I knew overall that I was in, I lost around a hundred thousand. So when I was doing my tax on TurboTax, it had to kind of pencil out that way, right? So I knew I'd get a, a decent refund this year. Um, so let me know if you have any questions down below. I know it's confusing. Hopefully I made it made sense to you. Um, but drop the questions down below. Please share this video with somebody who wants to learn about taxes. You know, I'm not a CPA, but I do my own taxes for seven years. And um, please share this video, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you see you in the next one. Thank you so much.